The Department of Pediatric Oncology and Hematology is the largest center of this kind in Germany, so we treat approximately 150 newly diagnosed cancer patients. We are specialized in the field of acute lymphoblastic leukemia, where we coordinate the international trial for these patients, and we are also focused on transplantations of thalassemia patients. Our program offers the entire spectrum of stem cell transplantation, including matched donor transplantation from sibling or matched unrelated donor using bone marrow or peripheral blood stem cells. But we also have a strong emphasis on haploidentical stem cell transplantation, mostly from the parents. Our program performs about 50 allogenic transplants per year, including about 25% haploidentical transplants. We have about 10 autologous transplants per year. With that, our program is among the largest programs in Germany and Europe. We have 10 different working groups focusing on different problems of cancer treatment, of stem cell transplantation, and uh, the major topics are further development of CAR T-cell therapy with creating our own constructs, finding further therapy options for resistant acute leukemias, uh, also within clinical trials, neuroblastoma-specific treatments for relapsed patients, and also some programs addressing the complications of stem cell transplantation, for example, GVHD, graft-versus-host disease, or delayed immune reconstitutions. For chemia patients, we see around 25 to 30 per year, and among those, let's say, three will suffer a relapse, but we get a lot of transferrals from other centers and also from other countries uh, for treatment because we are specialized centers for this particular patient group. We develop a clinical trial in international setting with the aim to improve the outcome. First by using standard chemotherapy and for most of these children also allogenic stem cell transplantation. We deal with acute lymphoblastic leukemia relapses. We are interested in how they develop. Why are the leukemic cells could escape from the treatment? In one project, we characterize the leukemia cells genetically and from their immune phenotype in order to identify mechanisms for resistance, how the leukemia cells changes during treatment. One patient with acute lymphoblastic leukemia was transferred to us to treat a false uh, relapse uh, of, of leukemia. We applied a CD19-directed CAR treatment and this was again successful and induced very good and until now a sustainable remission. Hope this time it will be cured and everything okay and all doctor teams, all the charity teams, their hard job and the brilliant mind use its work. As the center with the highest number of uh, pediatric patients with hemoglobinopathies in Germany, yearly we take care of around 160 to 170 patients between sickle cell disease and severe thalassemia syndromes. One of our main targets is to improve stem cell transplantation as the curative therapy for sickle cell disease and thalassemia. My principal focus is the use of the aploidentical donor in thalassemia and sickle cell patients. We focus in a research of the best stem cell selection, including a very intensive conditioning regimen before the transplant. Taking care of patients with hemoglobinopathies means working with families from all over the world. We are a multinational team. I think we speak about 10 different languages in our team to not only understand the language, but also the background where the patients are coming from. The Ärzte waren alle nett, die Schwester waren alle auch nett. Mir geht es jetzt sehr gut. Ich bin ja auch fröhlich, dass ich wieder dass es mir alles gut geht, dass ich mit anderen Freunden spielen kann und jetzt fühle ich mich wie andere Kinder. 
I think what makes the treatment unique in our department in the focus of stem cell transplantation is the combination of high-tech medicine, innovation, the latest therapies that are possible, including CAR T-cell therapies, for example, on the one side, but not forgetting about the supportive care and the comprehensive, holistic, integrating care of the whole family. We have a Ronald McDonald house in five minutes walking distance, so there the families get an apartment of their own where they can also live with the whole family, with the siblings. But of course the parents can also do rooming in, so one of the parents is always here with the child. We do have clowns uh, visiting the children once a week, so they do also their therapy, it's not only entertainment. We have an art therapist who works with the children because for children it's very important to express their feelings and sometimes they can't do this verbally. In the field of music therapy we have different options. One that the patient's experience is very relaxing is a therapy with so-called singing bowls. Of course we also have classical music therapy with playing different kinds of instruments. Um, this is rounding up uh, this offer. It's amazing what we see with the latest development of CAR T-cell therapy. So we see cures in patients where we would have never expected this five years ago. So there is always something coming up that we can offer and where we can contribute with our own research lines that it's faster developed and uh, it's wonderful and a lot of fun to see if it works in a child. And this is what we're here for.